Hello everyone, this is Duan, and today I would like to show you how to have a basic setup of AWS S3 in your Apollo GraphQL project. So you can upload image file to AWS S3 and have it displayed in your app. Let's get started. So let's begin by showing you a little demo on how this is going to work. I have a small project set up here, and as you can see, we have a file upload input, and we can use it to upload a picture. And this picture file will be saved directly to S3. Once saved, the client will use the URL that S3 provided to access the image we just uploaded. And our front end will use this URL to display the image. Let's try it out. I currently have this input set up to change the picture of the second story. And by default, when no image is provided, this component shows a placeholder SVG, as you can see here. You can use any image format you want, so here, I will upload this image. After a few moments, you can see the displayed picture over there. Let's have a quick overview of what actually happened behind the scenes. First, what we did is an image upload on the client side, and the browser will send a request containing the file type to the server. And then, the server will be responsible for communicating with S3 about what will be uploaded to S3. Once the information is received by S3, it will send back a pre-signed URL. This is used to authorize access to upload image to the S3. Also, each file in S3 will have an object URL, which is the link used to access the file. We can formulate it in our server and save the URL later for client to access what we've uploaded. Once we get the two URLs from the server, the client then can use the pre-signed URL to upload the file directly to S3 and save the object URL to the database so we can access the uploaded file later. So let's jump into some code. In the front end, this is my upload component, which is basically a single form that contains an input element for file upload and a submit button. Most of the functionalities for the upload is within this handle submit function. So first, we get pre-signed URL by sending the sign S3 mutation. I will show you how the server resolved those mutations in just a bit. If the mutation is successful, we will receive a pre-signed URL and object URL as I mentioned earlier. After both URLs are received, we can upload the image file directly to S3 with put method. I'm using fetch here. You can use anything you like, such as Axios. And finally, we save the object URL to the database using another mutation. If everything went well, you can display the image by simply using an image HTML tag sourcing from this URL. There are a few more steps in the backend. Let's take a look. First, make sure you have AWS SDK installed. There are a couple of packages. Make sure to install all of them. This will enable us to quickly implement the process of signing and uploading files to S3. And then, be sure to initiate your S3 client somewhere in your server with your own credentials. You will need two of them, the access key ID and the secret access key. Next, for the server resolver, we need to get pre-signed URL from S3. So here, I have a resolver function that uses getSignedURL method from the SDK and passing the parameter to let S3 know where exactly you want to store them. Note, I have added the public read parameter. The image uploaded this way will be accessible for anyone. You can customize those options however you want. After that, we will also be returning an object URL, and the format is something like this. Lastly, we would like to save the object URL to the database. Here, I have another resolver function to update the URL. By doing this, it helps us locate where exactly the resource is coming from each time we upload something to S3. There's one last thing we need to configure to get it to work. If you go to your S3 bucket in your AWS console, be sure to customize the permission of your bucket. In the course configuration, specify what methods and origins that are allowed. Here's an example. I specify in my configuration that the put method is allowed for user to upload image to this S3 bucket. And the request can only come from localhost 3000. And that's everything you need to do to get S3 set up in your project. 
I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you like this video and want to see more related content, be sure to like and subscribe. My name is Duan and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.